Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at your immune system under the microscope. So what you're seeing on your screen here are a bunch of red blood cells that deliver vital oxygen to our body. The moving cell there is a lymphocyte. That's your immune system. That's what it looks like under the microscope. So its job is to go in between all of these cells in your lymph system and start uh, cleaning up, if you will. What you don't see is that it's swimming in water. That's why we need to drink water when we get sick. Well, you just saw there's a lymphocyte that's changing direction. That's showing intelligence. It's got a signal called chemotaxis to go clean up a mess, and that's what it is right there, cellular debris. So what you're seeing there is that lymphocyte starting to break down and clean up all that cellular debris. Just like a car that uh, uses gas and there's exhaust, all of our cells use fuel, and then there's byproducts and metabolism. This little stick figure, that is streptococcus. That's your immune system taking care of bacteria. Look how it uh, goes and, and uh, protects you by uh, enveloping itself around the bacteria. Now this is a picture of natural cell death. This is apoptosis. This is a cell. Just watch the edges of the cells there. It's about to die. And what a lot of people don't know is that our cells are replaced every so often. Red blood cells uh, every 149 days. Um, other cells may take years, but our cells are replaced with whatever we've been eating at the time. And so it's important to know that these lymphocytes have to go in and clean up all of these cells. And we have trillions of cells. I joke around with my kids and I say, you know, I want you guys to clean your room as well as your lymphocytes clean theirs. And this is what we see. Trillions of cells being cleaned up. And this is why it's so important to eat a healthy diet with real whole foods because our cells need those big building blocks, not fake foods that are going to break down and add more work to your lymphocytes. <clears throat> when your immune system s gets overworked, then it can't protect you as well. What you're seeing here on the screen is natural cell division, and instead of it dividing properly, you'll see at the middle of the screen, it stays conjoined, and it becomes what's called a binucleated cancer cell. Those two dark circles, those are the nuclei. The lymphocytes that are circled there, those are inside the cancer cell, and that arrow points to the cell membrane, and the lymphocyte on the outside is trying to get in. Watch how it pokes multiple times. We count seven times it pokes to try and get in. If your immune system is weak, it can't get in. If it's strong, it can get in and start to help to defend against the cancer. And so this is why it's so important to really help keep your immune system strong. What wrecks your immune system? Stress. You can see here that it's gotten inside and now it's high-fiving the other lymphocytes. We pull the camera back and we can see that we've now got uh, tissue that's cancerous. Not the size of a tumor yet. This is still under a microscope, but it's tissue. And all those moving things are the lymphocytes. And what you just saw there is implosion from the inside out. This is natural killer cells of your immune system killing cancer, so we put an instant replay on there. This is cancer dying. We now know that to help put our chances of not getting cancer up to the highest, we need to keep our immune system strong. And like I said, what impacts the immune system? Stress. Mental, chemical, and physical stress. When you get sick, what do they tell you to do? Drink lots of water, because those lymphocytes need to be able to swim around and get to where they need to get to. Get lots of rest. That way you have less byproducts and metabolism, so there's less work for the lymphocytes to have to clean up. And it allows for your immune system to recover. And then also, what do they say? Take antioxidants, vitamin C, things like that. Why? Because antioxidants is what feeds your immune system. That's what makes them stronger. So in today's world, we need to avoid the chemical stressors like sugar and fake food and add things like fruits and vegetables, organic fruits and vegetables, and supplement them with good antioxidant supplements to keep our immune system strong. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please take care of your immune system.